It's been over a year since Beyond Light released, when things in Destiny 2 were exciting, but also weird. Pyramid ships flying around, destinations disappearing to the darkness, consuming exotic quests, and, you guessed it, exotic catalysts. Everything removed from the game got placed in the Destiny Content Vault, or DCV, to be potentially added again in the future. I made this video when Beyond Light released, showing you 9 exotic catalysts being returned to us from the DCV. However, some exotic catalysts never made it back into the wild until now. With the Witch Queen expansion, here are six returning exotic catalysts in the game, what they do, and how to get them. Let's get into it. Now I will reference a few other videos in this guide, so I'll have each of them labeled and linked in the description box below. So three of these catalysts were here just last season, Season of the Lost. The other three, however, have been gone since Beyond Light over a year ago. The method to get all these catalysts is the same for all, but that doesn't mean that they'll be easier to get. They all are able to be acquired through playlist activities, meaning strikes, crucifixes, or gambit as an end of activity reward. A pretty generic method to get these exotic catalysts. The problem is there's a ton of other exotic catalysts you can get this way and there's no way to really target farm any of these. I will say you do need the exotics before you can get the catalysts so if you need to know how to get any of these weapons you can check out this video. And once you do get these or any exotic catalysts and you're looking for the fastest way to complete them I also have this video ready for you as well. The best exotic catalyst farm and the best farm for free to play players. Now maybe you did check out that video and you're looking for Hawkmoon and Dead Man's Tale. Well in Witch Queen they changed the method to get these weapons and on Friday of the first week I'll have a video releasing how you can get those and I'll have it linked below as well once it goes live. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss that video. Dead Man's Tale. This weapon gives you increased rate of fire while hip firing and removes hip fire accuracy penalties. This thing is a beast in PvP content and you guys probably have been traumatized by this weapon before. Now it is being tuned for the Witch Queen's release but will no doubt still prove to be a menace and worth getting. Basically, aimbot when hip firing, so GG's. Hawkmoon. This catalyst gives you increased magazine size, increased handling, reload speed, and weapon range based on the stacks of paracausal charge. Now remember, you get paracausal charge when hitting crits on enemies, so the more of this stacks you have, the better stat increases Hawkmoon gets. Plus, the extra bullet means more DPS, or big boom bullet. Agers, Agers. Agers? Agers. Agers Scepter. If you hold down the reload button, it drains the super energy, overflowing the magazine and empowering the beam with bonus damage. Also has the ability to slow and freeze targets until either the magazine runs out or your super runs out. For stasis builds, this thing gets really crazy. Has a pretty good damage output, zone control, and even ag clear, making it very easy to clear entire rooms, and this can also be utilized in Grandmaster Nightfalls or even Raids. Now before we continue, if this guide has helped you out so far, remember to hit that like button so others can see this video. It really helps me out. Now, on to the long lost catalyst. First up, we have Whisper of the Worm. Aiming this weapon without firing for a brief moment grants bonus range and precision damage while it remains zoomed, also known as Whispered Breathing. Now, Whisper of the Worm used to be a top meta pick, and they recently did give it a buff last season. So, when you aim down sights, if you hold it for just a little bit, you'll see the perk pop up on the left. That's when you get the increased damage. Overall, if they do ever end up making snipers a top meta pick again, you definitely Definitely want to make sure you have the Whisper Catalyst. Outbreak Perfected. Increases Nanite damage. Enemies that die with Nanites attached to them generate more Nanites. Sound familiar? I'm looking at you, Gellahorn. This catalyst makes the weapon extremely potent, especially the more Outbreak Perfected you have on your squad. Similar to Wolfpack rounds on Gellahorn, enemies with the Nanites will die and spawn even more Nanites that keep damaging your enemies over time. This catalyst was actually so good that it was a main DPS hit in Crown of Sorrow back in the day as well. Fourth Horseman. This exotic catalyst will add an extra round to the magazine, as well as increase the reload speed. This is crucial for Fourth Horseman, as the reload without it is horrible. Plus, the extra round in the mag makes a huge difference, as this weapon is really meant for burst DPS. Now, if you have any of these or any other exotic catalysts you need to complete, make sure you use this guide to help you get them done fast. And if you want to watch me delete god rolls, click this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.